ओके गाइज वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट डिटरमाइन द पावर आउटपुट ऑफ द ड्रा वर्कस मोटर एम नेसेसरी टू लिफ्ट द सिक्स हंड्रेड पाउंड ड्रिल पाइप अपवर्ड विद स्पीड विद कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड ऑफ फोर फीट पर सेकेंड द केबल इज टाइट टू द टॉप ऑफ द ऑयल रेक रेप्स अराउंड द लोअर पुली दैन अराउंड द टॉप पुली एंड दैन टू द मोटर सो लेट्स एज्यूम दैट दिस रोप विच इज टाइड विद द मोटर इज लेट्स ए वर्टिकल राइट सो दिस इज द एजम्पन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम लेट्स ए सो लेट्स ए दैट वी हैव ए पॉइंट let's say that point is denoted by m and we are consi considering the motion of this point right with which this motor is pulling so let's say that this is that point in our free body diagram let's say this is that point m and this is the pipe and it is moving with 4 feet per second in the upward direction so first we have to apply the kinematics right so in order to find the velocity with which the rope is pulled by the motor since we want to find the power output so power output will be equal to the f times velocity so we have to find the force applied by the motor and then we have to find the velocity with which the rope is pulled by the motor so we need we can apply uh, the kinematics the dependent motion so for that if let's say that we measure the position of the pipe by variable sp and let's say that the position of this point m from this datum is measured by let's say variable sm so now if we write the equation for the length of the rope so we can write that sp this is sp plus this sp so that will become 2 sp and this plus sm and that will be equal to the the rope length and if we take the derivative of this whole equation so 2 sp uh, with respect to time so sp divided by dt will be the velocity of p velocity of pipe and then velocity of motor and this will be equal to 0 so the velocity with which the motor is pulling the rope will be vm and that is equal to minus 2 vp and as we have assumed that the downward direction is the positive direction of sp so if the pipe is pulled in the upward direction so according to our uh, convention of positive displacement this is the negative direction so the pipe is moving in the upward direction so this means that vp is minus 4 feet per second it is it is moving in the opposite direction of our of our positive sp so we can write that vm that will be equal to minus 2 into minus 4 so this gives us 8 feet per second so this is the velocity with which the motor is pulling the cable so now we can write that uh, power output so this will be vm now for uh, to find this f we have to consider the free body diagram again and then uh, i have to consider this as a free body diagram let's see so this is the the motor applies the tension force and that tension is continuous right so let's say that this is that force f with which uh, the motor is pulling this pipe and the weight of the pipe is acting downward right so the weight is acting downward this is the weight so now if we apply the uh, summation of forces along the in the positive sp direction let's say this is my sp so we have to keep the convention same for the position coordinates right so if we apply the summation of uh, forces along the sp direction so that will be equal to m an acceleration in the sp direction so the as we can see that this f is going to act in the negative sp direction so i will write minus f and then minus f so this is minus 2f and the weight is acting in the positive sp direction so i will write plus the weight and weight is 600 and the mass is 
divided by 32.2 but as we can see that it is given that it is moving with a constant speed of 4 feet per second so if the speed is constant the acceleration is 0 so this is 0 so everything will become 0 right so this is equal to 0 so now from this we can write that minus 2f plus 600 equals to 0 and we can say that f is equal to minus 600 divided by minus 2 and this gives us 300 pound force so the motor applies 300 pound force in order to drag that pipe in order to pull that pipe with a velocity of 4 feet per second in the upward direction so now this is our equation 1 so the power output output is equal to force which is 300 multiplied by the velocity velocity is 8 so this gives us 2400 and the units will be pound feet per second and now if you want to find the motor capacity in horsepower so as we know that one horsepower one horsepower can pull up the weight of 550 pounds in one second right so one horsepower is 550 pound feet per second so this will cancel out and we will get the units in horsepower so 2400 divided by 550 this gives us 4.36 so power output is 4.36 horsepower So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Dynamics.